Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're at Walmart to do our midweek moneymaker bonus. So I got a dollar for 10 offers. I should be able to do um, the 10 offers and not do any pay with I bought us today. So, but I do want to stop at Giant afterwards because there's like three things I would like to pick up there. Hopefully they have it. But we got some pretty easy rebates, especially like the any offers we have going on. We got some moneymaker cookies. I'm excited, so let's get started. So these Nivea breathables are now ringing up at for $3.84 in my store. So I'm gonna pick one up. I have one of these coupons left from coupons.com. So I'm gonna pay $1.84 for this, but then I'm gonna submit to Ibotta for $3 back, making this a $1.16 moneymaker. All right, so I'm gonna pick up the Dove bar soap again for 97 cents. I will scan the bigger one for the scan kicks. Then I'm going to submit to Shopkick for a total of $2.74 back, making this a $1.77 moneymaker. And my store has the stick one available, so so excited. So this is $0.97. Cents. I will scan the bigger one for the scan kicks, submit to Shopkick for $2.74 back, making this a $1.77 moneymaker. And I'm going to do the Tresemme bundle again. So I'm going to grab the hairspray for $1.97 and one of the shampoos for $0.97. Cents. So this will total me $2.67. I will scan the bigger ones for the scan kicks, submit to Shopkick for $4.60 back. So that's going to make both of these a $1.93 moneymaker. I'm going to pick up this freebie. So this Mountain Dew Rise is $1.98. I'll submit to Ibotta for $1.98 back, making this free. These pretzel sticks are 82 cents. There's two rebates attaching, a 10 cent any popcorn and a 10 cent any pretzels, making these only 62 cents. So I really wanted to pick up this cheddar and sour cream for my husband. That's one of his favorites, but they only have the party size. So I'm gonna pick this one up for 232, submit to Ibotta for 10 cents back, making this $2.22. These made good here are $2.96. My daughter really wanted the chocolate, but they didn't have it in stock. So I'm gonna be walking around with the vanilla and the strawberry until I hear back from her. But I'll submit to Ibotta for a dollar back, making this $1.96. These Char hazelnut wafers are $1.48. I'm gonna pick up three of them. It is a limit of three, so three will total me $4.44. I'm gonna submit to Ibotta for $2 back on each one. So that's gonna make three of these a $1.56 moneymaker. And I'm gonna pick up the regular ground chicken this time. So these are $3.18 each. Two of them will total me $6.36. Then I'm gonna to submit to Ibotta, get back a dollar for each one. Plus there's another rebate attaching that I'll get a dollar back for buying two. Then I'm gonna get back a $1 bonus since this is the third time doing this offer making two of these $2.36. All right, so now we're at Giant. So my Walmart doesn't have these. So these are $2, but I'm gonna submit to Ibotta for 50 cents back, making this $1.50. I'm also gonna pick up this Kite Hill yogurt. So it's on sale for $1.69. I'm gonna submit to Ibotta for $1.99 back, making this a 30 cent moneymaker. All right, so here we are with this haul. So um, there is a deal that I wanted to go over at Giant. So there's, um, I'm gonna pop the rebate on the screen. It's the Success Boil in a Bag. It has to be the one with like beans and then there's another one with like peas and carrots. But um, they had a spot for them at the shelf but they didn't have any. Um, but those at my store were saying $2.19. We have a free after offer at Giant for $2.39 back, making that a $0.20 cent money maker. So that is awesome, um, a nice freebie for food. Um, but these are just the two items that I grabbed at Giant. So here you can see my receipt, um, the chocolate chips for $2, and then the Kite Hill yogurt at $1.69. So I paid $3.69 for those. And then my Walmart haul, um, I only had that one coupon for the Nivea lotion. So, but other than that, everything worked out. So um, I did have the, I was, as soon as I scanned the strawberry, my daughter got back to me and said vanilla. So then <laughs> I had to have her take off the strawberry and, and I added in the vanilla. So, um, but yeah, everything seemed to work great. So let's go over my receipt for that one. 
So that's the Tresemme shampoo for 97 cents, the hairspray for $1.97, the Dove deodorant for 97 cents, and the bar soap for 97 cents. There's the Nivea ringing up at $3.84, my $2 coupon. The pretzels for 82 cents, the chips for $2.32, the Oh, that's the Made Good for $2.96. Oh, that's the one that she ended up taking off. Um, the Mountain Dew Rise for $1.98. And then my three Char wafers at $1.48 each. So here's the strawberry one she took off. And then here I rang in the um, vanilla ones. And then here's my two ground chicken. So my total here was $25.60. So for both receipts combined, that totaled me $29.29. Then I'm gonna get back a total of $10.12 from Shopkick. And I did get back $18.77 for my Bata. So that does include my $1 um, midweek moneymaker bonus and the dollar bonus for the Purdue chicken. So that makes everything here only 40 cents. Now it could have been a money maker if they would have had the smaller bag of the cheddar and sour cream chips. But other than that, 40 cents for all this, I'm super happy with that. So yeah, and oh my gosh, like let me know how much ground chicken you have in your freezer because I swear I pick it up every time I do a rebate haul now, but I mean, how can you not? So, but yeah. Um, let me know what you have been making with the ground chicken. I actually found some like keto-ish, uh, tortilla chips at Aldi and I was doing like ground chicken nachos with that Sargento cheese. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Um, but yeah, that's something I've been doing and I don't mind eating stuff like over and over again. So yeah, I think I had that like three days in a row for dinner it was like ground chicken nachos, but it was so good. But also... Now, I'm super late to the game, but this coffee, this great value pecan pie coffee, oh my gosh, this is the first time I'm trying it, and it is freaking delicious. It is so good. If you have not tried it or you're thinking about trying it, just try it. Not only does it smell good, but it tastes amazing. I'm in love with it, and I feel like, I mean, that has to be like a seasonal flavor, right? So I'll be, I'm going to be a little bummed when that goes away, but that's so, so good. But anyway, um, that is it for my Walmart haul this week. Well, for this part of the week, I should say. I'm pretty excited. So um, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. And until then, stay in coupon mode. Bye, guys.